Well, everybody, uh, let's see here. Welcome to the stream. Today we're going to be trying to recreate the Glitch Merb. And uh, today I'm going to be using our song, Fortune Days. I'm actually not that big of a fan of the Glitch Mob. Um, I think I used to be. And then at some point in time, uh, I was like, you know what? I don't think the production's that special. I've heard their live show is really, 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 really good. I've never seen their live show, but I've heard that's the thing. Uh, let's listen to Fortune Days and just get a sense of what we're trying to do here. All right, so let's get a list of things we need. All right, so I'm going to get here our little text document while that plays in the background. List of things we need. In before, this is going to be demonetized for sure because I'm playing all the glitch mob shit. But you know what? I don't care anymore. Because half of my videos got demonetized like a week ago. See, this this could be so much better right here. If they'd left the high end in the synths, but they didn't. And there's no snare. Oh my goodness. Welcome to the stream. Garden Sound complains about the glitch mob. <laughs> Alright, we need uh, big slappy drums. Uh, we need... Um, Hard synths. Uh, we need... It's like slightly detuned. Detuned leads. Those Reese leads. Uh, we need a strings sample. Like a one-shot. Hey! Thanks for the sub, man! Plucky. Fluttery. Lead thing, yeah, that, that, that'll make sense later when I look at that for sure. <laughs> um, there's definitely some loops going in there. Um, spicy, spicier, is that correct? Spicier, yeah, there it is. Leads, is that how you spell spicier? Oh, boy. what's wrong with this word? Why does it look so weird? <laughs> All right, cool. Spice, yeah, <laughs> the spice. <laughs> like, I feel like one listen through is fair. I've I've heard this song a zillion times. I just haven't listened to it in a couple of years. Um, so samples I need for sure. Um, I need some sort of like a drum line. You, you can hear it in the background. Um, specifically toms or quad drums. I need uh a of a string orchestra hit sample. I guess I'm not going to make the whole song. I'll just make part of it. So what's the name of it? Uh, Fortune Days. All right, cool. Let's go get a copy of Fortune Days off of uh, a totally legitimate website and not a YouTube rip site. All right. NSA, go away. What a weird iTunes skin. Yeah. I get rid of the file before I put this out anyway. It's not like I'm distributing the music or anything. All right, so here we go. There's our, there's our original song. Let's sync it. <laughs> Wow, their form is weird, man. They keep adding measures and shit. Look at it. It doesn't line up at all. That's crazy. All right, never mind. I won't justify it. This is not sponsored by Splice. Um, let's see here. Splice. What, what do we need? What are the samples I said I needed? Um, a drum line and a string orchestra hit. Okay, cool. Uh, why? Why do I have to do this now? Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. No, no, no. All right, let's see here. Uh, drum line? Uh, I guess they really want me to look at Matt Zoe's drums, so I guess I'll do that. All right, Matt, you didn't do it for me. I need drum line. Let's see here. Um, toy drums? No, no, no. No! <laughs> Cobra drumline. Alright, let's check this out. Cool. Now we're talking. Alright, that's happening. Ooh, that's thuddy. Fuck yeah. I swear to God, Splice is worse than Bing. God, this is just the worst. Um, Let's see here. Nope. No. 
You know what? I could probably just use contact. We'll try contact first, and if that doesn't work, we'll come back. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. And then just that a bunch. Yeah, when you when you directly transp transpose a line without changing the intervals, that's called a parallel transposition. When you transpose it so that it fits with the key, that's called a diatonic transposition. Now you know. Ah, if you're if you're Stravinsky, you're gonna use diatonic transpositions. If you're Prokofiev, you're gonna use parallel transpositions because fuck the audience. All right, let's create that that lead that I don't like. That doodly deedly 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 deedly. A fucking serum patch or something. I've fully adopted serum at this point, boys, until I get a copy of Massive X. Everybody's talking about Phase Plant and how cool it is. I'm going to definitely have to check it out. You're not alone. You're like the 18 millionth person that is fucking recommended it. I can't wait to try it. I'm serious, though. I've heard it's dope. Massive X, more like small penis, am I right? Yeah, okay. It's the same thing all the way through. That is fine with me. I love that type of, that type of melody. All right, so let's get the uh, bass line strings in here. We don't have those in here. So I'm going to say uh, string tops. I'm going to make another one and call this one string bottoms. You know, like a big thong. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a great stream. Sounds like That sounds like what a boomer would call um, some, you know, people who wear like like revealing bathing suits. You know what I'm saying? sounds pathetic so far but that's how it always is until we finish it up have i had too much coffee no i don't think so let's go ahead and pour us another cup so first we got to do a little distortion i'm gonna use rectifier <laughs> release on this we're almost there now let's fucking add noise good now let's be f freaking way stupid and cut off all the high end like the glitch mob <laughs> Close enough. Check the lead at measure 15. It's different. Oh. You're right. It is different. Okay. Uh. Please hold. I fix. I have a bass that I call the garden mob that was sort of like taken from their sound. See, I think this actually sounds better than theirs because they didn't leave any of their bottom end in it. And they also cut off the tops and it's like, dude, what are you doing? Stop. Is it just a band pass? Garbage. I don't like it. I mean, I know that's that's what they're trying to. Uh, hold on, let's see if we can. Get, let's get a bigger band pass. How about that? Um, I don't like it. <laughs> goblins. Oh, was that John Tron? Hold on a second. Ew, I don't like them. I don't like goblins. Ah! I like a this one. Oh, Luigi, I like a this one. So they added an extra measure here, and now the phrase length is all shifty. Um, so let's let's get this uh, line written in here. And remember, we're trying to make this better than it is. It's 
got a different rhythm too, but the lead itself is different. It's more like a whistle. Um, let's see if we can find a good one in here. All right, let's listen to this some more. Figure out what the fudge. It almost sounds like an organ that's been distorted and band passed. Let's let's try that. Let's try that. Uh, something super stupid. How about? <laughs> yeah, let's use expand. <laughs> that's almost perfect on the first. The expand does this every time. I think I'm gonna use that one, and we can combine these two. What a dumb synthesizer. This thing goes on sale like almost every year and during Christmas. I recommend everybody pick it up. It's like a dollar. <laughs> How close is that? Really close. We just need to tamp it down a bit. So now let's get those big slappy ass drums in here. Uh, we need a muted uh, snare thing and we need a clap thing and we need the drum line one. There's gonna be two drum lines for sure that goes on top of it on the next one. Good news is these drums are the same rhythm the whole dadgum time. Mr. Ryan Dietz. Same every measure. There's an, an extra kick on the end of the second measure. You can hear it on the, the, the synth in the background, which we're missing. Ah, see, we're missing something. I knew it, man. All right. Um, this is going to be our nasal pad. It's kind of nasal. You know, it's like, a, you can, you can kind of hear it in there. Let's <laughs> Is that annoying yet? <laughs> yeah, there still is like some toms and shit in there. So let's go back to my samples. I know I have like a... Alright, let's add one more layer of, of drum, uh, drum line stuff. Let me edit this, uh, let me edit this thing up. What I'm about to do with this is remove everything except for the transients because that's pretty much all they're doing. Throw it into beats mode, and we'll preserve just the transients on one-shot mode. See what I'm saying? We'll add it to a small room with some stereo width. Hell yeah. Now we'll just automate the pitch a little bit. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today in terms of making this thing. Let's go over how it does. Um, we've got two string lines that we got here. These are just contacts that I've I've used like a real staccato kind of sound to match their uh, particular sample here. If you want to listen to theirs, here it is. Here's what I've got. It's not exact, but it's pretty good. Um, their first lead. Uh, is is kind of this thing going on with the with the, with with the rectification distortion? That's the most important part here to get it to really crackle and sizzle correctly. It's almost like a fold over or a feedback distortion, um, and uh, yeah, that's that one. This lead is an organ. It's just an organ, 
And for this one, I used Expand. Uh, this is a really easy synthesizer to get a hold of. It's like a dollar sometimes on sale. Um, so that's what's going on here during the first drop. We got this nasal sort of pad, uh, which is basically a saw wave um, with about eight or so unison detuned uh, slightly. Not a whole lot. There's not a whole lot of width there. Um, and then we got uh, bases. And this is my you know, garden mob patch that I've just you know removed a couple of things like phase mistress. Um, and uh, all this is is a sub oscillator um, in like a dirty saw setting and then there's a whole bunch of modulation going on with the filter in order to make this sound move um and yeah that's it it's just a shit ton of bass like uh you know this is a 11 unison dirty saw with a little bit of detune i mean here, here's the actual noise itself as you can see we're modulating the wavetable position we're modulating the filter. Um, there's all sorts of things that are being modulated. The envelope itself is kind of weird. Sorry, all that popping is just due to the fact that my sound card's being overloaded right now. And then these drums. I mean, this is the other part of what makes the Glitch Mob sound like the Glitch Mob. Is it's just big, powerful, slappy drums. Um, we've got two kicks layered. Uh, we've got a marching snare at some points. We've got uh, one, two, three sounds making up our twos and fours. Um, then we've got like three different drumline samples together and you know all these together with a bunch of compression on the drum bus sounds like this. And we don't want that drum bus to be turned all the way up on the dampening. They do low pass quite a bit of stuff and actually the majority of things in this arrangement are, are band passed uh, which is even weirder. So I think that makes up part of their sound. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, other than that, it's just like, you know, varying up the layers and making sure that things are rhythmically interesting. So our second drop doesn't sound like the first one. It's, you know, got a variation in, in, uh, in rhythm and it's got the same noises, but nothing like that is super interesting. It's, it's just kind of straightforward composition, um, with kind of a big ballsy sound. It's nothing to shake a stick at uh, in terms of like criticism. Like I have no criticism to lend. Um, I think the mix could be better on theirs. I think the mix on mine's a little bit better, but I think that's also just a sign of the times. I mean, this song was made in 2010, and it's 2019 now, and our tastes have changed. So it's not really fair to judge this song under a modern lens. Um, this was one of the first kind of big, bassy um, songs like it, and then when it came out, there was really nothing else around quite like it. Um, so, yeah, this has been fun. I really enjoyed this one. Shout out to Cake Mix for the suggestion. Um, that's going to be it for me today, everybody. And, uh, feel free to tune into the stream if you want to watch the stream next time and feel free to share this video around on your favorite subreddits. I'm going to see if there's a glitch mob subreddit or something to, um, pitch this at. And that's going to be it for me. As always, everybody take care. My name is Garden Sound. Love y'all.